Hey guys, let's check out Banco Strings Volume 1 and 2. These are very special contact libraries, not your ordinary, not the regular string libraries. Let's dive into it. So I have both of them loaded here. We have Banco String uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I also have drums by uh, UJAM just to get things exciting and cinematic here. So let's listen. just if we need some uh, drums in the background. So volume one gives us a lot of character, a lot of things for sound design and very special articulations. Volume two extends on volume one. They're not overlapping. They're not an upgrade. They are two separate libraries. So I'm going to start with the ensemble longs. Let's hear how this sounds. And you can see the explanation here for the articulation going from soft to loud, pizzicato, tremolo. And what we have in this library is different controls. So we have the round robin here, two times round robin, and then we have density twice as much, so it will be louder. <laughs> Cool, so this is this articulation, but let's go to the beginning here. So as we move the density upwards, we'll get more players and we'll get different articulations, more picking and other things. Let's try it out. And they are using drumsticks on the strings. And the density is also controlled with the mod wheel. So that's the ensemble long. Let's try some other libraries that we have. So I'm going to try the bass long. So that was the bass. Now let's try another library that we have. Let's go for the cello. And I'm going to set the density for higher. So as we add more density, we have more players and as they all play kind of randomly, all these picks and sticks and, uh, you know, everything that they're using, it will get kind of uh, 
intense and dense. Next, let's try the uh, and well, let's go for the viola long. And again, we have all these articulations, so you have to try them, you have to experiment and see what you get. And now we also have the stereo width series that goes from 100% to mono. And last, let's try the violin. So we have long and short. And I'm going to use the two times density. Again, drumsticks. That was volume one and let's jump over to volume two and see what we've got here so i have the ensemble long ready loaded here this is how it sounds Right, and we can see that for some of the articulations, we're going from one uh, position into another position with the density, like going here into peak, into uh, the uh, into the uh, sopant, and so on, and bursts. So this is really, really great. And so now let's try something else, and let's listen to the long basses.
these are the long basses. Let's try the violins. So I'm going to select the long violins again here. So now let me show you something really special with volume one and it's a good time for you to hit the like button if you like this video so far and you have any questions let me know in the comments I'll be happy to answer and in volume one we have something special we have like a bonus patch this is a synth so let's listen to that. different settings here. This is a distant pad. Very cool, very cinematic stuff. And let's move on. Let's try the next one. Very nice. So now let's go back to volume two just to finish this video here. And I want to show you something really cool. So uh, I'm going to get the ensemble along here and I wanted to do something special. So I'm going to add the uh, finisher uh, Flux by UJAM. And I really love this one. So if you want to learn more about this plugin and all the other finisher plugins in the series check my channel and you'll be surprised how creative they are so i have the uh, just this plugin here let's listen without and wait Again, without and with. Let's try something else. I'm going to try another one. Let's go for the, um, well, I'm going to use Neo. Without. <laughs> <laughs> 